I'm here with Team 4488 Shockwave at the Wilsonville event. They're coming off finalists at their last event and looking to continue the streak uh, with this really sweet robot that we're going to learn more about on this episode of Behind the Bumpers. All right, so uh, let's start with you, Ofec. Uh, I think you wanted to talk a little bit about your uh, drive train. All right, so we are using a swerve drive with custom tread. Um, as you can see right here, I'm holding it. We have TPU 3D printed tread, which has like grippiness, very cool. Um, and then here we have, um, we, we've added, since our last combination, we've added a, a, like an intake bumper, which is supposed to help us with collisions. We've also um, changed the our intake shafts to include a special surprise for anyone looking. And there's also some grip tape on there. We, um, we also added a camera so that our driver will be able to see. And that will probably help with collisions and stuff. And for amp wise, we've added this um, poly like piece, which should help from our testing. It should help the note get into the amp way better. And can we see the note actually run through the robot? So the note will, it comes up through here and then there's a sensor which senses if the note passes it and if it does, it will make it wait so that it doesn't touch the shooter wheels. Because if it touches the shooter wheels, then it will not actually shoot. And then what it will do is it will push it up after these wheels have spun up. And then if it's incorrectly, it will make it into the speaker. So uh, can you tell me a little bit more about uh, how you're driving the arm and uh, the um, stuff down here? So we, since our last competition, we have switched to Spline XL, which it helps with alignment particularly. So um, because We've had it like wibble a lot or wobble a lot because we use like normal po or hex shaft. Um, and then we have a Neo connected to chain which just drives it up and down. Okay, very cool. Uh, so now I think we're gonna move uh, over to our programming team, uh, Zach, and uh, learn a little bit more about the LEDs and about the dashboard for the driver. So if you uh, come over here, you can see a dragon back here. Um, and if we run the climber, you can see that all the LEDs turn rainbow. Um, over on the driver station, you can see a custom dashboard, which uh, both can be used during competitions and be more robust than the uh, shuffleboard. Um, and it also includes debug tools like a log viewer, um, and a console over here. Uh, thank you Shockwave for taking the time. Uh, this is a really cool robot and I'm really excited to see how you do at this competition and throughout the season. Good luck! This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions.